All right, here at Wallow Park, we're scoring the wall, char wall characteristics of these sheep today. Um, well, the ladies behind me are, so we've got Georgia and Phoebe scoring today. I've been doing a little bit, but mainly watching. Um, so going through and scoring those four traits. So we've got wool colour, we've got fleece rot, we've got dust penetration, and we've got wool character. So all those four things being scored today in these young ewes. These are uh, autumn drop ewes, or the bottom end of that mob, the autumn drop ewes. Um, been scoring away today, um, done just under a thousand I think, quite quickly with uh, three of us chipping away at it. Uh, fantastic to have this bulk handler we're using, which I'll explain a bit more. Uh, yeah, and I guess the beauty of these traits is that they uh, are subjectively assessed traits, but get turned into breeding bows. So things like that we would often think as things that we would class sheep on, um, and maybe just make a, a cull keep sort of decision. If we can score them up, we get the breeding bows for them. We can then incorporate that into our decision making and particularly when we're shifting sheep from, from maybe a drier area to a higher rainfall area where, where wool colour might not be under much pressure in this environment whereas it would be somewhere else. Um, that's the beauty of the breeding bay and, and the work that we're, uh, we're undertaking on lots of places now to, to score all those traits up. So we're looking for the fibre in a whole different ways. We often look, we look for fleece right as we go down the we go down the back line, open up three or four times down the back line. That's where you will find any fleece right, and it's often only really subtle like that. There is just a subtle coloration which would be scored to fleece right. It's not actually fleece right at all. It's just a but there is a bacterial stain there, um, and so most people, if you weren't looking for it, you might not might not find that. But we but we uh, we grab that. Uh, and score that, at, score that at two. We haven't had many other than that today. Um, we're scoring character, which is which is the sort of depth of crimp or the or how clear that crimp is. Um, so you're getting close to a score one there, where it's very well defined. Probably a score one, um, where it's very well defined crimp. But it can be bolder or finer crimping. That doesn't really. It's not what you're scoring. You're actually, scoring that definition of crimp. And then that greasy colour. Um, important. You get a, a standard light when you're doing greasy colour. If the light changes or you're looking at some of them in the sun and some of them in the shade, um, you can end up you can end up with quite a difference um, based on what you see because the reflection off the fibre obviously. Um, then we're looking at dust penetration. We're avoiding this area here. These have been in um, we're in the in the Wimmera, it's pretty pretty dry, they've been in, in confinement, so a fair bit of dust around. Um, but we're looking at this penetration down the staple. Uh, so scoring dust penetration, less than six percent of that dust down the staple. It would be a score score one, so that would be only just the very tip would be would to get a score one. Twenty to uh, sorry, six to twenty is score two. So if it's more than twenty percent, then it's already into into score three, and then forty percent is the cutoff into score between score three and score four. So up to forty percent is score four. So these are mostly score threes, um, based on the dust around, and then uh, if it's seventy percent or greater into score. So 40 to 70 is score 4, sorry, and 70% or greater is is score uh, score 5. So um, obviously the reason we're scoring that is is um, better nourished wolves tend to keep that fibre a bit more protected, keep the dust out. Um, there is a correlation with fleece rot, so we're looking in environments where it's dry and dusty and you don't get any real... Um, you don't get any real water pressure, so therefore no fleece rot. You get, uh, you still can get dust penetration. And that's a, a good, well, one thing that's correlated with. So we often score it as well. So it's a bit hard to tell in a video of, of wool colour, but this is certainly a whiter one, probably, probably actually a two, not quite a one, but, but getting there. Um, and then you can see that colour change as we go. I don't know if we can compare that in the video, but uh, more into your score three or four, and you can see a bit of fleece rot down the bottom there, a bit of, bit of water staining. Um, which was a different score. So important to score that colour separately, which is 
um, what's going on through the staple um, versus that banding, which is which is when we're scoring fleece rot. But it's that general colour through the staple that we're going to score when we're scoring wool colour. Those two things being correlated. We're using a bulk handler today to do this job. So that lifts lift up, mobilises the sheep, so they're all uh, legs are dangling through, but they're only just off the ground, so they're still pretty comfortable. Um, but it means they're not um, not kicking, can't move. Great for a whole heap of jobs around husbandry, but also great for this job when we're not having to look at structural feet. We're just focused on the wall, so a fantastic um, bit of gear for this job. So we've got two bulk handlers in uh, hooked together here. I think they're six meters each, are they? Something like that. So 12 meters of, of bulk handler. Um, hydraulic controlled, so hydraulic pump up there just rip, pulls that up, um, gets them all immobilised, and they're not going not going too far. Yeah, the bulk handler is fantastic for this job. See these sheep can't move, can't go too far, but they're sitting pretty comfortably um, just off the ground. Support their weight supported, but um, but not in any distress. And fantastic for loading. You can really hum them in here and, and get them in and out quickly, quicker than like a normal conveyor V machine is. Um, great when you've got them immobilised, but very hard to load. These things are, or well, can be hard to load. These things are great for getting sheep in. Right, I better stop taking videos and do some work. <laughs>